So today, what we wanna show you basically is how you're gonna set up your pick eight board. Now, right off the bat, you wanna be able to find if you have tickets. Now, your tickets are gonna be located right in the top right corner here. Now, if you don't have tickets, the best way you can get them is click on the get extra tickets button, or if you have the ability to have a promotional code, click that, and you can enter the promo code right here. Now, if you also want to understand what you can earn for prizes, you can go to this question mark up in the top left hand corner of the screen here. And if you want to click that, it gives you a very simple guide on what the prizes actually are available. If you do get four bingos, that's actually going to be worth one million dollars. Now, if you get three bingos, that's ten thousand dollars and two bingos is ten dollars. The monthly winner for the most cells activated will actually earn one thousand dollars. So now what you want to do when you're finding players for your pick eight board is very simple and very straightforward. Right from the start, we want to break this down into different categories. So the first category being quarterback and passing yards. So you want to be able to pick the quarterback who's going to throw for the most passing yards for that week. The second category that you want to choose from is from passing completions. So the quarterback with the most passing completions, and we're going to just stick with Tom Brady on that. Next, we'll move to running back and rushing yards. So the running back who will obtain the most rushing yards. And we will go with D. Martin from Oakland. Running back and receiving yards. And we'll just go with Christian McCaffrey. So the next one we're gonna choose is wide receiver or tight end for receiving yards. Now this is very simply the receiver or tight end who has the most receiving yards for that week. Now if you scroll down to the bottom, you will have the option of choosing the other. If any receiver that isn't listed here does end up leading the NFL for that week, then the other will be highlighted and you will get that board piece. So next we're gonna move to wide receiver and reception. So obviously the wide receiver who will have the most receptions for the week. Field goals made is obviously very straightforward. The kicker who is going to make the most field goals and then finally defense and least points allowed now obviously New England is a very strong defense so we'll go with them so now you are able to actually rearrange and organize this board as you see fit so you can do this and this now you have to remember though that bingos are only going to count if they are diagonal horizontal or vertically through that center cell right here so that is going to be it now all you have to do after that is hit submit and that is all you need to do. To review any of your boards, you can go up to my picks where all of the boards that you've submitted are listed. 